Uh, you can't issue a permanent court order where there's no adverse party mm -hmm. as a initiated right, instituted as an ex parte court hearing because there was no adverse party. Uh -huh. <laughs> when um, the temporary protection order was issued, now, I know that uh, these folks right here, yes, it's Trump's court now. Oh, <laughs> you know, they have quite an article <laughs> in this Time magazine about the Supreme Court of the United States. I've been wanting to know how many of them know about this ex parte court hearing where <laughs> the actual petitioner was not the ex parte party. Ooch. <laughs> and then the named petitioner found out after they had initiated it Ooh. outside of the 90 days required by law. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, uh, Anthony Kennedy retired. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was kind of going through this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Clarence Thomas is still there. Are you? Mm -hmm. Because I know I've mentioned your name numerous times. <laughs> then there's Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now, this was July 9th of 2018. Yes. And um, I, I was wanting to know what date it is because... Um, hang on just for a second here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's July 28th. So this was, this was somewhat recent in the last uh, 20 days. <laughs> and then there's uh, Stephen, Stephen Breyer, 79 years old, and John Roberts, Samuel Alito, yes. Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, and Neil Gorsuch. <laughs> now, um, the swing vote for many key cases. Oh, <laughs> You know, just looking through this, what um, Justice, what's his name, uh, Kennedy has done. Yes. It had a short list of individuals that could have been appointed to um, the United States Supreme Court. And there's this guy named Brett Kavanaugh. Yes, <laughs> I guess he got the job and he was a law clerk for Kennedy. <clears throat> now, I mentioned that mm, those that were appointed... Oh, just one, Brett. Now, uh, no relation to Brett Baisden. Not thinking that your first name and his name have anything to do with one another. But let's say that I found out mm -hmm, that I had informed you for the last two and a half years, Elena, Sonia, Samuel, John, Stephen, Ruth, and Clarence, Coach, and then Neil was the new guy about a year ago. That you took my sons and you've deprived me of life, liberty, or property, and property. Yes. Mm -hmm. For over seven years, and as the Supreme Court of the United States, you didn't want to be involved. <sighs> now there's this Planned Parenthood versus Casey. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where Kennedy would hear and he sided with the court's progressive wing. <laughs> Citizens United versus FEC. <laughs> then there's that Orgefell versus Hodges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Landmark decision legalizing same-sex marriage. <laughs> Fisher versus University of Texas. Ooh, opposing quotas but saying race could be considered. <laughs> you know, I was walking to the AMPM this morning after sleeping on the hardwood floor. <laughs> and there happened to be a Planned Parenthood where they have uh, video cameras. Yes. And I thought, I'm on surveillance camera. Good for me. <laughs> Could you get me the surveillance cameras at every Planned Parenthood in the United States? <laughs> I just wanted to know if they did know before somebody entered the Planned Parenthood, <laughs> the actual identity of the individual. Oh. Look at you. There was this woman that I had seen numerous times that was wearing a red dress, a very attractive woman that I thought she might or might not be a Central Intelligence Agency. <laughs> now, there was a chromium and teeth, and I'll tell you, her teeth were just beautiful. In fact, I was looking at a very attractive woman in Oklahoma on Facebook. 
full breasted, possibly short, short, big breasted women <laughs> that was involved with a man that kept showing his teeth in each of the pictures. And I thought, my gosh, I dislike looking at him. <laughs> Now, she happened to be in a picture with a friend of hers that's a mother that had written this. <laughs> it's kind of a, a small summary of her personal life experience of being a mother. And I thought, you know, I'm attracted to that. <laughs> a woman that has a sticky bun in her hair because all she does all day is take care of her kids. <laughs> has a pair of yoga pants that she's never worn to yoga. <laughs> I thought I'd put that on my Facebook. <laughs> Could you get me the teeth of those on the Supreme Court of the United States? <laughs> now, all these decisions that you've been making for the last, oh, <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> well, you're recently <laughs> appointed in two weeks to 25 years of appointment. <laughs> Let's say I sued every fucking one of you. <laughs> what would that do to the Supreme Court decisions of the United States Supreme Court? Now, for the United States Supreme Court justices that thought that I would not sue you for having knowledge of issuing ex parte court orders, where it's not the ex parte petitioner that instituted the hearing of the court, I just wanted to know for every Supreme Court justice that gets removed from the, brand, the, the bench, what does that do to every decision that you made? Now, I want you to understand something, Supreme Court of the United States of America, that if you stupid fuckers don't do something today, I'm going to reverse every decision that the United States has made for 25 fucking years.